Five News at Five. Spinach could be back on the menu tonight. The big question, is it safe? The latest in the E. coli contamination scare when we return. In grocery stores, take a look. Bag spinach back now on store shelves. Giant is stocking it as we speak. Whole Foods later in the week. The greens were yanked from stores after 183 people in 26 states got sick from E. coli. The FDA says spinach is okay, as long as it didn't come from contaminated fields out in California. Fox Live's Matt Acklin heard from some customers who aren't ready to try it just yet. Even as some grocery store chains across the country put fresh bagged spinach back on the shelves today, at some restaurants, management is not feeling so comfortable. Lunchtime at McCormick and Schmidt's, salads are in high demand. But that spinach that is used in so many dishes is still off the menu here. And so far, there are no plans to bring it back. We've actually changed our salad mix and brought in a special uh, greens. Executive chef Tony Marchante says customers are well aware of the E. coli risk, many asking if spinach is in their meals. Tony tells us they removed it as soon as they heard about the threat. It's, you know, it's going to be the, the last thing that we want to worry about, it, just make, you know, making sure that our guests are safe. Giant Grocery Stores tells us over the next few days, fresh spinach will be added to their produce departments. But some customers will think twice before buying it. Not that I say I distrust it, but I just don't want to take the chance. Health officials are giving the green light to eat fresh spinach as long as it doesn't come from three counties in California. But until all spinach is considered safe, some plan to keep it off their plates. Would you feel comfortable yet? No, I would not. As soon as it's safe, we'd love to have it back. It's a, it's a big seller for us. Even though this E. coli outbreak has really hurt the spinach industry, at many restaurants, they've been able to alter the menu and say it really hasn't hurt the bottom line. In Bethesda, Matt Acklin, Fox 5 News.